We have some good news surrounding Grand Theft Auto 6. Yes, it was officially discussed by Take-Two Interactive CEO and Chairman Strauss Zelnick. They are the parent company of Rockstar Games. Remember that yesterday was their earnings call, so he actually did a handful of interviews. One of them was with IGN. And in this interview with IGN, they actually asked CEO Strauss Zelnick about the impact of the leaks that it might have on business for GTA 6. And this is what he ended up saying. He said, we take leaks very seriously indeed, and they disappoint all of us. It's really frustrating and upsetting to the team. However, as a business matter, we're not affected. But as a personal matter and an emotional matter, our teams are affected. Okay, so obviously this is a little bit of bittersweet news. Let's talk about the good side of this first. It looks like nothing was really impacted from the business side of things and from the development and anything that Rockstar might have had planned for GTA 6 as according to the leaks, which is really, really good. Now, there might be some things that they obviously had to change around. Like, for example, I'm sure they're putting together a trailer right now. And maybe because we know certain parts of the game, like, for example, that it's going to be taking place in Vice City and its surrounding areas. We know we're going to have our two main protagonists, Jason and Lucia. Maybe they have to shift things around a little bit. But see, this is good news, that it looks like the train is still on track, and it looks like from a business point of view, which remember, that Rockstar is in the business of making video games, it really does look like there's going to be pretty much zero impact here, and that is really good news. Now, of course, on the flip side of things, behind the business of making video games are the people that make these video games, the developers, the artists, everyone involved in Grand Theft Auto 6. That's obviously got to be extremely frustrating to see, you know, a game that you've worked on probably for almost close to a decade now just get spread and leaked and seen by pretty much everyone. So that makes perfect sense that from a personal matter and an emotional matter, that's obviously going to have a big impact on the team. And this is sort of the status quo for Strauss Zelnick, though, to not really talk about anything in particular. During Take-Two Interactive's last earnings call that we got back in November 2022, regarding the GTA 6 leaks, he said it was terribly unfortunate, and we take those sort of incidents very seriously indeed. There's no evidence that any material assets were taken, which is a good thing, and certainly the leak won't have any influence on the development or anything of the sort. But it is terribly disappointing and causes us to be more vigilant on matters relating to cybersecurity. So we are getting positive news again coming months after the GTA 6 leaks that it doesn't look like anything was stolen or that development or anything was going to be thrown off the tracks because of this occurring, which really at the end of the day is great news. Now, unfortunately, for the most part, that's pretty much all we got out of Take-Two Interactive CEO Strauss Zelnick regarding Grand Theft Auto 6. We also heard from another reporter, Jason Schreer. He works over at Bloomberg. He has actually had some specific GTA 6 info in the past that has come out that the game was going to have two main characters, that it was going to be taking place in modern-day Vice City. Well, he ended up putting this out on his social media account. Some news, Marvel's Midnight Suns was a critical success, but a commercial flop. Take-Two CEO Strauss Zelnick told me in an interview this afternoon that it's possible the release window wasn't perfect, but he thinks it could have a long tail, like other Ferrix games. And someone ended up chiming in saying, ask him about GT6, please. I'm pretty sure he meant to say GTA 6, as Gran Turismo 6 came out a long time ago, with Jason saying, I did, no answer, as expected. I wonder what that question was he asked him about it. It probably had to be something more specific than just the impact of the Grand Theft Auto 6 leaks on business because he was clearly fine talking about that. But I wonder if it was like, when do you expect to announce something or did it have any impact on what you were planning on showing or, or something along those lines? And obviously, he did not respond. So Strauss Selnick keeping things very close to the vest here, but he did finally talk about Grand Theft Auto 6. And he did say that from a business side of things, we're all good, but obviously from the personnel and emotional side of things, that they are going to be impacted. Now, another way that Take-Two Interactive, again, Rockstar's parent company, is going to be impacted is it looks like they're going to have some form of layoffs. So following a report 
of $1.38 billion in net bookings for the quarter, which fell just short of its $1.41 billion guidance. Take-Two is preparing to undergo a cost-cutting measure that projects it will save roughly $50 million per year. And one of the areas Take-Two suggests this will impact is personnel. Now, IGN asked if this meant layoffs were coming. He said that that's not the plan, but caveated that while he doesn't expect large-scale layoffs, some jobs may be lost. Going on to say, we don't expect some kind of broad-based reduction in force or anything of the sorts. But that said, it's not as though we guarantee lifetime employment, sadly. So there will be certain instances where jobs will be lost, but I think that will be pretty modest. Now, speaking of Jason Schreer, his article for Bloomberg ended up touching on Grand Theft Auto 6 a little bit as well, stating this, This year is supposed to mark the big comeback for the games industry, with a packed slate of top releases expected to help gin up excitement from fans. One of the most anticipated will be Rockstar's Grand Theft Auto 6, though it doesn't have a solid release date yet. Industry analysts expect that the next installment in the series will be out sometime in Take-Two's 2024 fiscal year, which runs from April 2023 through March 2024, but developers have been skeptical that it can meet that deadline, Bloomberg has reported. And that report he's talking about right there was an article that was released on July 27th, 2022. And in that, that's where we kind of got some of our first details of Grand Theft Auto 6, that it was going to be taking place in modern-day Vice City and its surrounding areas, that it was going to feature multiple protagonists, one of them being a female for the first time in the series. So even though we didn't get any Grand Theft Auto 6 details, like a logo or a T or a trailer or even the official announcement or really anything like that, we can still consider this good news that at least what they're telling us publicly, the leaks didn't have any impact on what their plans were. So when and if Grand Theft Auto 6 is revealed in the next couple of weeks or months or hopefully sometime this year, it looks like that plan was not impacted by the Grand Theft Auto 6 leaks in any way, shape, or form. But until Rockstar makes their announcement, it looks like people in the know, such as Take-Two Interactive CEO Strauss Zelnick, aren't going to be telling us anything early. So I guess let the waiting game begin. And now, unfortunately, we kind of just have to wait for Rockstar to wait to see when they're going to pull the trigger and when they are going to to give us that official first details on Grand Theft Auto 6. And we still haven't gotten a community update from them that we had received the last three years in 2022, 2021, and 2020. So I don't know what's going on over at Rockstar Games, but hopefully they've got something cooking up for us soon on the GTA 6 front. But let me know what you guys think about this in those comments down below. Do you also see this as good news? Do you not really care about what Strauss Zelnick has to say? Let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.